we're gonna go on our last footlock hunt of the year and I'm gonna shoot this and make sure that uh, or I'm just gonna see if it goes off this has been loaded for over a week so I'm gonna put a fresh load in here I just want to make sure it goes off first and get a good rest right here okay I hit my target too. Hit the left hand side of that. So it went off and I hit what I was aiming at. We are going to give the old flintlock a try today. We're going to do something a little different. We're going to kind of still hunt across the road here. And I'm, I've got some trail cameras in there. We're going to check along the way. And then this evening, we're actually going to hunt across the road, uh, possibly in a shanty because it's so cold and snowy. and kind of like sitting where I can stay warm and concealed uh, but first we got a long walk ahead of us and maybe we'll we'll bump into a big doe get a shot who knows let's get this footlock loaded up Well, I just jumped, it looked like six deer or so, and there's a nice buck with him, I couldn't believe it. The last deer that jumped looked like a real nice eight point. I obviously can't shoot a buck, nor would I have had a shot at it, even if I could. But it's nice to see that a big buck like that's still alive in here. <clears throat> there was a few big doe and it looked like some spikes. And then that nice buck in the back. I was really pretty close to him when they jumped. Probably 40 yards. Right in this, right in these tops right here. I've got a camera right down here where these deer just ran, so let's sneak down here and see if we can get a better look at them or maybe Maybe we can get up close to one of these big does and get a shot at her. There's his bed. where he was bedded. This is classic spot right here. So he's got, he can see this whole bottom. He's got this, these treetops as backing. He got a wind coming off the field up, off uh, the field up here. So he can wind anything coming from this way. And he's watching everything down below him. And these thick tops. Makes total sense why he'd be bedded right here. 
looks like the mother beds are up in here. They all took off right this way. Just jumped a bunch more deer in here. There's so much deer sign.
there's deer running everywhere in here. I did have a shot at that one, but it was looked to be really small, a little fawn. But everywhere you look, there's just running tracks. Everywhere. I think I'm gonna make a big loop, come back up around them on the other side of the food plot and see if I can get back into them a little bit. Boy, I had deer running everywhere in here. There was a ton of them, at least 20 of them that crossed the field up here. So I tried to sprint up the food plot to where I could see the field and maybe get a shot at a big doe. That was too late. They were already across the field by the time I got up here. thinking maybe it'll be a straggler coming in the rear, but I haven't seen one yet. I'm doing a really good job of freaking these deer out. <laughs> this is like rattling a freaking bee's nest. I haven't had any good uh, shot opportunities at all. Just that one fawn I could have took a shot at. And even that would have been a tough shot. We'll sit here for a few minutes and then we'll head across the road and sit for the evening. I think some of these deer actually went across the road. Well, we made it over here into the shanty for the evening sit. I just went for a heck of a walk across the road and seen a ton of deer. On the way out, I cut 23 tracks that I kicked out from below the field that went out across the field. And I could just see them up through the woods. I mean, it was just deer after deer after deer. And the best part about all that was I did see one pretty nice buck. So that means, you know, there's gonna be a good one there next year for sure probably a, a 16 or 17 inch eight point it was the very first deer I actually jumped. He was in a bed right on the backside of a treetop. I was like 40 yards from him when he finally, when he jumped and took off, but pretty cool encounter for probably my last muzzleloader footlock hunt of the year. I think the season goes out on Monday or Tuesday, but I probably won't be able to hunt either of those days. Possibly Monday, cause it's Martin Luther King day. So I want to work, but Anyways, I might be out one more time, but just calling this my last one. I never got a good opportunity at a big doe over there. There's deer just running everywhere. Uh, tonight, we're sitting across the road. I haven't flint locked, I haven't hunted over here at all yet this year. This is my very first one, for first time hunting over here. I don't know what the deer activity is over here. 
uh, but we're gonna find out tonight. It's pretty snowy and uh, cold, so I'm trying to cool back down. I was sweaty from that long walk, so we'll turn you back on if uh, we start seeing any critters out here. I missed. Don't know how, but I missed. Well, that was textbook other than the miss. They came right out here into the food plot and uh, had a shot at a really big doe right at like 45 yards. Shot right over her back. I just rewatched the video because I couldn't believe I missed. I had a nice rest and everything. I just, the round hit right over her back. I can see it in the snow right where the round impacted. But it's still early. We've still got a lot of light left, so I wonder if I'll get another shot before dark. And if I do, I'm going to hold a little lower this time. So we'll see. That was fun, though. It was exciting. Finally get a crack at one. I know I owe everybody 10 push-ups, so I might as well knock them out now. Need another chance.
Well, that's foot lock hunting for you right there. Just had another big doe come out and give me a perfect broadside shot. This one's a little farther. This was probably 60 yards. Got a good rest, everything ready to go. Gun didn't go off. The powder in the pan lit, but it didn't ignite the charge in the gun. Unbelievably, so. We're gonna sit tight, maybe. Maybe a few more deer will come up through there and we can get another shot. I, I got more powder in the pan and we'll see. Oh, there's a bunch more deer moving around in there. Hopefully this gun goes off if they come out.